Hi, this is Nir from Polypop Live and today I'm going to be showing you how to choose a new starting point in Polypop. But first, let me explain to you what Polypop is. Polypop is a new broadcasting app that literally takes live streaming into a new dimension. And this is because Polypop uses a 3D gaming engine to generate brand new 3D broadcasting environments. With Polypop you can easily add really cool 3D effects live while you stream and I'm talking about things like this for example to show a little bit of love for your viewers or things like this to show a whole lot of love for your viewers and remember everything is being generated live so if I don't want the hearts to cover my face I can very easily move them to the sides. And how about something like this? An alert that can be triggered when viewers show you their support and send you some bits. Or something like this to convey a different kind of emotion. So in order to have Polypop running on my computer, I already visited Polypop's website, I filled out the registration form, I downloaded the app and I installed it on my computer. So if you feel like you want to try Polypop yourself, just click the pause button, go to polypoplive.com, look for the download button and follow the instructions. So now that we all have Polypop running on our computers, let me just switch to the Polypop app so we can talk about what the starting point is and I can show you where to choose one. So this is Polypop and as you can see in the center of Polypop is the canvas. Anything inside the canvas will be live streamed. Below the canvas we have the output panel. To the left we have the source library panel. Here on the top we have the scene switcher which is where you can see all the scene in the current project. You can switch between them and you can add more if you want. And to the right you have the scene layout panel, but since this video is about starting points, let's first talk about what a starting point is. A starting point is a template users can choose before they start to broadcast. Each starting point has its own colors and its own character, and you should choose whatever starting point you think will represent you the best. But you know what, instead of talking about it, let's just go ahead and see it. So in order to see all the starting point options, click on the starting points button that is located here on the top, and the starting points browser will open. Here we can see all the built-in starting points and we can choose one to start working with. For example, I will choose this Art Deco one. You can choose a starting point by clicking on the select button here or just click on the starting point itself. So let's do that and there you go! This is the opening scene of the Art Deco starting point. Having a closer look at the scene switcher on the top of the screen will show us how many scenes we have in this starting point and their names. The scene we are currently in is highlighted and we can see that right now we are in the starting soon scene. This is the scene you would use before actually start broadcasting. Polypop randomly emits these art deco thin rectangles, creating an interesting non-repetitive animation that makes the waiting time a bit more interesting. So now let's check the other scene in the starting point. In order to go to a different scene, I will click on the scene that I want to switch to, in this case the webcam scene, and this will immediately transfer me to the webcam scene. You can see that the content on the canvas changed accordingly and like the scene's name indicates, this is the scene where the webcam gets the main focus. One of the things I really like about the built-in starting points in Polypop is that they all come with some fun hotkeys we already prepared for you to enjoy. A hotkey is a key on your keyboard you can press in order to create an event or activate an effect. So let's check what hotkeys are stored in this starting point. In order to do so, I will look at my source library panel and look for the hotkeys category. If the hotkeys category is closed, you can click on the small triangle that is located on the left of the word hotkeys and the hotkeys category will open. Opening the hotkeys category will show that in this starting point there are three pre-made hotkeys. You can add more hotkeys yourself and I will show you how to do this in another tutorial. But for now let's examine the built-in hotkeys that are already stored in this art deco starting point. You can see that we gave each hotkey a name to help you know what event this hotkey will create. And if you will look to the right of the name, you will notice there is a number. This number represents the key on your keyboard that will trigger the event. So let's check it out. I will press the number 1 on my keyboard and look at that. I've released some Art Deco style hearts to my live stream. Now let's check the next hotkey. I'm gonna press the number 2 key on my keyboard and just like the name indicates I got a wow Art Deco reaction to my live stream. So now let's check the last scene in our starting point. Again I will go to the scene switcher at the top and click on the scene I want to switch to. The capture screen scene. This is a scene you'll use to live stream the game you play or the app you use. Okay, so let's check another starting point. I will again go to the starting point button and click on it. 
This time I will choose the photo booth starting point. Again, we are starting with the starting soon scene here. We also have a webcam scene here, which is one of my favorites. So let me show it to you. In this scene, you can see yourself many, many times. There's a cube monitor here on the right, a pile of pictures falling down from the top, and a photo booth lookalike strip of pictures to the left of the screen. So let's check the pre-made hotkeys that are hidden under the hotkeys category. As you can see again, we have a hotkey with the name hearts on it and the number one. So let me press the number one key on my keyboard and look at that, a shiny red heart falling down to my stream. Okay, now let's check the next hotkey with the name emoji and number two. I will press number two on my keyboard and a happy emoji creates some havoc on my scene. So this is how starting points work. Just click on the starting points button, browse through the starting points, which are basically pre-made templates and choose whatever starting point you feel like using in your stream. It's important to remember that starting points are just as the name implies, a starting point. After choosing your desired starting point, we encourage you to change it, to tweak it, to add to it and do whatever you feel like in order to create the perfect environment so you can create the perfect live stream. So if you enjoyed this video, just click the subscribe button down below and I hope to see you soon in other Polypop Live videos.